Okay, so this is a much more detailed example on rational inequality using the real number 9. So let us try to solve x minus 8 over x less than or equal to 3 minus x. So on the left hand side, I already written down the step that I take for all the six steps. So the first one, we have to write the inequality in the correct form. So what do we mean by this correct form is that one side of it must be zero. The other side can only have one single fraction. So this one side normally for me is my right hand side. So my right hand side must be equal to zero. And on my left hand side, so this is the other side, which is the left hand side, can only have one single fraction. So that means if I have lots of fraction, I need to simplify the fraction. So over here, if you read this question, so on my right hand side, I didn't have zero over here. So that means let's bring everything to the left hand side first. So x minus 8 over x minus 3 plus with x less than or equal to zero. So on my left hand side, I have a lot of fraction because this is 3 over 1 and x over 1 as well. So let's change it into a single fraction. So multiply everything with x. So x minus 8 minus 3x plus x square over x less than or equal to 0. Simplify a little bit for our numerator. We have x square minus 2x minus 8 over x less than or equal to 0. Next, factorize your numerator completely. So you have x minus 4, x plus 2 over x less than or equal to 0. So let's check our first step whether do we have them in correct form or not. So over here, our right hand side is already equal to 0. So this is good. On my left hand side, I already have them in single fraction. This is good as well. So we can proceed with the next part or the next step. So let me write down the previous one. We have x minus 4, x plus 2 over x. And the symbol is less than or equal to 0. So for the second step, the sign of the rational expression is a result of the sign of its various factors. So we need to find where each factor is positive. So to find the value, set the numerator and denominator of the fraction to be more than 0 and solve. Okay, so our numerator, we have x minus 4, greater than 0, so x is greater than 4. And then we have x plus 2, greater than 0, so x greater than 2. And then we have x more than 0. However, if we read this line over here, if the rational expression is greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 0, set the numerator to be greater than or equal to 0 and solve. So we need to write down equal for our numerator part. So these two numbers are our numerator. So we let them greater than or equal to 0. Meanwhile, this is our numerator. So we simply write down greater than 0. So that is our second step. Let's go to the third step. So we have to draw a real number 9. So to draw a real number 9, use the values found in step 2 to divide the number 9 into intervals. So we have net 4 as the number. We have negative 2. And we have 0 as well. So let's write down 1 number 9. So negative 2 will be on the left hand side. And then I have 0 here. Then four. So let me divide them into a few intervals using another color. So perhaps this one. Okay, so as you can see, I already separate them into one, two, three, and four intervals. So we can go to the next step now. So step 4, we need to perform the sign analysis. Okay, so to draw 
to perform the sign analysis, we have to draw our number line first. So x greater than or equal to 4, so we start at 4. We are going to the right hand side. Greater than or equal to negative 2, so add negative 2, go to the right hand side. So this one is full circle as well because we have the equal sign. And then simply greater at 0, so go to the right hand side as well. So we have to write down positive on top of this line because this is where the value of x become positive. So those region without the line simply write down negative. And do check do we have three or not. So if we have three interval, we need to have three sign on each interval. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three as well. So let us proceed with the next one. Use the sign analysis to determine which interval which interval satisfy the inequality. So we have negative, negative, and negative. So this is definitely going to give me a negative answer. Negative, positive, negative. So this one is a positive answer. Negative, positive, positive. This one is definitely going to give us some negative answer. Positive, positive, positive. Another positive answer. So to check. Uh, our question, we want something that is less than or equal to zero, which means we want to get all the negative interval from. So we should either be this one, negative, or negative. So we have two interval here. And then for the last step, we use the interval notation or solution set to write down the final answer. So on my left hand side, this is negative infinity up until negative two. This one is close bracket because we have a dense circle at negative 2. Remain with, so we have 0 until 4. Open and close. Or we can write them down as x such that x is less than or equal to negative 2. Or x in between 0 and 4. So hopefully that detail now for you. And see you in the next example.